Social media graphics can help you stand out from the crowd and get your message across. Make a lasting impression on viewers and can increase reach and engagement. What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to explain how to create a social media post step by step for different platforms like Facebook, Instagram or Pinterest. So without adding much ado, let's jump into the tutorial. This is Sri from Doodle Sri. So today we will be recreating this particular you know like social media post uh, creatives so as you can see i have created uh, you know three kind of you know social media post i mean like you can see the different dimension here this is for facebook uh, this is for instagram and this is for pinterest so what i'm going to do is i will create a single artboard and i will create different dimension in a single artboard and i will create the same creative but in different dimension for different social media. So I have already, you know, like pasted the color codes I have used in this graphics. So you can choose your own color codes if you want. But uh, you know, like it's very important to choose uh, the right color code for the right graphics. Since I'm creating uh, something related to food, the color should be warm or something related to warm. So uh, without uh, adding much, you know, like details, let's start our today's session so first of all i'm going to you know like start with a new you know file so here what i will uh, do is like uh as you can see i have uh, written the you know like the dimension here for facebook it is one zero eight zero one three five zero so what i will do is like i will start with this one so one zero eight zero one three five zero and uh, as you can see i'm creating three artboards okay so let's uh, click on the create button so now uh, what i can see is like these artboards are pretty close to each other so this way we will be not be able to work in a comfortable uh, way so to get a solution of this you just need to click on you know uh, on any artboard and just go to this edit artboard option and you can uh, if you just select this artboard you can drag it anywhere so similarly if you click here you can you know drag it here as well okay similarly for this so now what we will do is like uh, we will keep uh, for the Facebook as it is but for Instagram and for you know Pinterest we will change the artboard size so for Instagram it is 1080 by 1080 so it's uh, basically a square what we will do is we will click on the artboard we'll go to edit artboards and just you know like change the height to 1080 and see it's done okay similarly if we click on the pinterest and if we just take if we just check the dimension here it's 900 by 1600 so here similar way we will just make it 900 by 1600 and it's done so just like so okay so now i'm i'll be using the same you know like method which i have used in these particular you know graphics so i have already you know uh, prepared it before so that uh, it can give a clear picture of what i just uh, want to you know create so here i will take uh, um, three different layers okay so for layer one it will be facebook for layer two it will be instagram for layer three it will be pinterest so and the last layer we can make it background okay so now uh, what i will do is like i will i have written the color codes here okay so 
I'll just click on this color option select color option here we'll just put the color code here and I will just make the stroke none I'll go to the you know that rectangular tool okay and make sure the you have chosen the background layer and just create a background of the same so always remember that uh, it's better to use the uh, background uh, you know like a little bigger than the artboard so that you will be in the safe zone select the you know that background and just uh, click on the shift click on the alt button and just drag and copy another shape to my another artboard and just adjust this okay I'll do the same for the other one as well okay now I'm just going back to this so here I have used a you know pre-created element like a burger icon so you can use anything you can create on your own or you can maybe use some you know free vector resources like uh, free peak or maybe you can use VectEasy uh, to create your own artwork or maybe you can create your own so I have already pre-created this uh, particular icon I'm just copying this one and just making a different layer here giving it a name icon and I'm just pasting it okay so uh, now what I have to do is like I have to change the color of the same so for doing so uh, we need other color codes as well okay so you know like just putting this color code here okay and just make a little shapes okay so for this uh, special icon I have used two more colors this is this one and this one so let's create this icon quickly so I'm just uh, making it a little bigger okay and uh, I'm just holding this just clicking on this and just select this eyedropper tool and click on this particular color which you uh, want in this um, particular icon so I'm clicking on this okay now uh, I need to change the color of uh, the other parts as well so for example I need to change the color of these you know dots so I just need to make it white so I'm just selecting all of them and making it white okay but for these I want a different kind of color like for bun shape you you know what uh, you know what is the color of a bun you know this, this color will be more suitable so I'm just clicking here and making it you know bun shape and also you know like for these I'm keeping it uh, white because um, assuming that we are having white cheese white melted cheese and for the patty I just want to give another color which is this okay so here you go our icon is ready so once it is ready so we need to you know uh, select all of them and just need to group it another copy out of it and uh, now we are going to create this this shadow okay so for creating this shadow is a very simple thing so you just need to you know like ungroup just to select everything and you have to go to you know like the pathfinder tool and just clicking on the alt key you just have to unite the whole thing okay and i'll go to expand appearance and make it a single shape okay so now i uh, i will 
what I will do now I will change the color of it okay and I will make a duplicate out of it while clicking on while pressing the alt button and dragging it here okay and just select both of them go to object and here we'll find a option called blend so I'll go to blend option we'll go to specified steps and make it 200 hit ok again we'll go to blend and we'll make okay okay so after that uh, what we will do is like we'll just double click this and here we will go to the exit isolation mode so there what we have to do is like we have to click on the lower you know like lower this shape and uh, we will click on this windows appearance and it will open this you know this box so from there what we have to do is like we have to go to this fill opacity and double click it single click it sorry and uh, here uh, make sure the blend option is multiply and then what we have to do is just turn down the opacity a little bit so maybe you know like I think uh, this looks good okay so after doing so just right click and uh, click on exit isolation mode okay so we are done now what we will do is we will just select this uh, icon and just put this on the top of this this shadow so i will we will go to arrange and bring to front okay select both of them and click on alt shift press on alt shift and just make it a little bit you know smaller and just drag it to the main composition okay so i'm just zooming in to just check whether it is okay perfect okay so you can just uh, yeah that's it now uh, this part is done okay so now what we will do is like uh, this is the icon so we'll do the typography part so we'll create another layer which will be typography So you can choose any font you like I'm using this font this is Montserrat so I'm using Montserrat for that so I'm using Montserrat bold so I'm just choosing this and make sure you know the font size is bigger say like 100 okay and uh, what will be our text our text will be ready for a delicious bite so I'm just writing this here ready so just making it caps so ready for a delicious delicious bite so i think to make it extra bold that will be okay and i will just choose font color you know like uh, white okay now what will go I'm just adjusting the you know the layout of the type what we can do is to make this lower part bigger you can just select this part and just make this font or 
maybe I will do another thing I'll just select this part ready for a delicious bite so I'll select this ready for a and I'm just you know make this font size smaller so maybe 80 okay maybe yeah 70 will be good I think yes So this is delicious bite maybe bite I think we can make it yes that so ready for a delicious bite maybe we can place it here it's like so okay so it's it's up to your creative abilities uh, we do not have any restriction on that but basically what we uh, are going to do is like we are stressing on something which will help reach more people or more audience okay hungry burger today okay so i'm just going to give it a different style so maybe maybe i will choose medium italic or maybe i think semi bold italic yeah that will be okay and uh, for hungry burger i'll use the white color and for this two i'll be using this yellow color okay so here you go and what now we can do is we just copy paste the elements in different you know like uh format or different dimension for different social media posts so we will go to this particular you know like icon section just copy it go to instagram and we'll paste it here just move in a little bit make it more compact okay and then typography section control c i'll go to instagram i'll paste it here okay and So this is completed now I will show you how to save it so we'll go to file we'll go to export and here as you can see I've already saved these before so I'm just going for JPG use artboard so here as you can see like one two three that means artboard one two and three so if we click on export it will be exported as is like here for resolution i think 150 ppi will be fine because we are doing this for you know web so that's it for today guys i hope you have liked and enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe and share your comments or feedbacks or if you have any suggestion for any particular video please do not forget to let me know about that as well and i would also recommend to watch this full video to learn the design process more efficiently so be happy, be positive, be smart and be creative. So I will see you in the next video. Until the next time.